I trust in God, my Savior, the one who will never fail. Yes, God will never fail you. Anyway guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to vlog what I do in a week and I have so much in store for you guys but today is Sunday and it's currently three two minutes to four guys do you know what by the way the time changed today so yesterday I had a night shift and it was the longest night shift I've ever ever had it isn't because it was so busy Yes, it was busy, yes, but it was so long before it got to two. Yeah, because when it got to two, that's when like it started going fast, time started going fast. But anyway, guys, I did have a good night shift, have slept, though I wasn't feeling too well. But yeah, so I decided to start this video today because I need to do some wardrobe organization i just have this top cabinet of my wardrobe that i need to organize i have a lot of boxes that i need to put on top of the wardrobe and i want to show you um how i'm going to organize the, that place and also i have a lot of um packages that the boxes that i've opened already and i haven't thrown them so i'm going to do that and also guys tomorrow i'll be taking you with me to the hospital because not necessarily the hospital i'm going for a flu jab and a vaccine jab covid vaccine jab i have some things i need to do on my laptop and it's regarding to the work it's just some mandatory courses that we we need to do and i haven't done them so i'll just show you some of it and so guys that's how it's looking at the moment it's so disarranged and i have so many boxes some of them i've already put them up there so i need to like and i have bags inside there because here down here i have my jacket where i put my jacket my uniform and my suitcases yeah that's all sorry that's all organized but up there i need to organize it guys these are the boxes that i need to remove from i've already unpacked everything so they're they're kind of big it's because Guys, so these are compression socks that I got. I wear it normally when I go to work. So it comes there one, two, three, four, five, six. I have the black one. I've already taken out the black one. So this is how they look.
how to like unfold this boxes because here I just realized that you need to like tear them apart and uh, when so when you're putting it in the dustbin it can be it can fit in the dustbin yeah that's what I'm going to do right now so since it's a uh, cardboard oh okay, by the way guys I noticed here in UK they recycle most of the things and these are one of the things that they recycle like everything has their own dustbin like cardboard papers um, metals and plastic they have their own dustbin even food itself so you can't mix food with other like papers like for example if you want to if you bought some oreos and you want to throw that oreo paper you throw it in another dustbin and if you want to throw the oreo itself you throw it in the food dustbin so that's what i'm going to do a laptop when back I was in Cyprus and unfortunately it got stolen it's a long story but let me just put it cut it short so we my friends and I used to when we go out we used to leave the key under the doormat so this day there were four laptops in the house so I don't know what happened we left and I think the person who there's a person who knew probably that we keep the key under the doormat mat. So the person entered and took two laptops and left the other two. Luckily the person didn't take any money. So I lost my laptop and uh, when I moved here I wanted to be editing my videos and i don't like editing videos using the the phone so i got myself a lenovo it's a 13.3 inch it's a slim lenovo yoga Len lenovo and i'm so happy about these badges that i got to be honest with you when i just close it like this guys i've closed it so when i open it it just can scan my face and opens currently uh, I'm now going to like because I need to do this uh, mandatory training before the end of, of November I'm trying to finish as much as I can because they're not hard questions that go to my learning so these are the list I don't know if you can see but I've done a few of them here and I'm so proud of myself though it's just 10% and I need to reach 85% um, by the end of November I'm just going to do all these courses maybe do 5 what's the time yeah, it's uh, 4.42. I'm going to do like five of them. Then I'll go to the kitchen because I need to prepare something to eat. I'm starving. And I only have this energy drink because I really need it right now. Ah, another thing, guys, I forgot to tell you that ah, this week I'm going on a trip to a new city. It's just a one-day trip and 
that will be a different vlog so let me do this then uh, we'll catch up later Hospital. The hospital is uh, right there behind me, that one, and I'm here at the occupational um, health. I'm going to go inside, guys, and uh, let's see how it goes. I couldn't show you what happened, but you know I have to protect the privacy of everyone that was inside there. Anyway, guys, I was able to get the vaccine uh covid vaccine um and also the flu uh jab and it was kind of not painful in terms of the covid vaccine but the other one was kind of painful after that i was given like a later shown like the the purpose of the vaccine that i took and uh the type of the vaccine that they gave me or the flu jab also and it was kind of nice because you'll know why you're getting it and you'll know the type of medications that they're injecting into your body and all that. And secondly, I also got a pen and a badge that shows that you've already already been vaccinated or taken the jab. And thirdly, you were given a voucher to go to a cafe in the hospital where you could take any coffee of your choice any tea of your choice and also some biscuits which was so good i decided to go and good thing this uh, cafe was just below my building the hospital is kind of big and it has a separate building so that's where my the cafe that i went to was or the cafe that where you're supposed to go with the badge and uh, later so you just give it out to the cashier and uh, you take your free drink it was so nice and after that i decided to go home because i had an appointment to do my hair at three so i just got home took my jacket it's uh, 7 29 so guys as you can see my hair is done i'm so excited i'm really excited not only that my hair is done but also that this trip that i'll be going to at least i'll look cute <laughs> anyway guys my friend decided to do this style here for me because to protect my hair my edges because i'm trying to grow it yeah and also she gave me some foodie or food stuff that i need to go and prepare right now i don't know what time it will get done but i don't mind sleeping late i don't mind eating late so i'm going to show you what my friend gave me she gave me this 
These are Kenyan beans. They're yellow beans. I love yellow beans. They taste so good. So I'm just going... Oh, they're from Uganda. I didn't know yellow beans are from Uganda. I thought they were from Kenya. Anyway, all that. So I'm going to prepare these beans tonight with maize. Oh my god white maize guys white maize oh my god so this dish i'm going to prepare right now is known as githeri it's a kenyan food and it's specifically from my tribe like we love githeri so i'm going to add um some potatoes in it but I need to boil first the beans and the maize together then when I'm done I will now cook it with some potatoes so I wanted to show you the outfit that I got that I'll be wearing it to go to um, to this place this is the top this blue top it's so cute and it's in size 6 UK then today I went to H&M I wanted a black skirt I was sure I wanted a black skirt but in jeans but I didn't find any black skirt in jeans I found a black skirt but it's in this satin material this is the skirt it's in size um, extra small I am so glad I found a skirt that fits me. It's long and it's maxi and that's what I was looking for, a maxi skirt. The thing that I got also today was Kilishi. I've never ever eaten Kilishi in my life before. So today was my first time to purchase it. And it's a spicy beef jerky. I tested it to be honest this is so expensive come to think of it it's so expensive it was seven pounds and something I don't think I'll ever buy this again I, and it's so expensive but I and also I didn't like it I don't know what's the hype in it maybe people from where the Gilishi is from do like it because they've grown up with it but me I don't like it at all. I've eaten a lot of Nigerian food and I must say I like or I eat kind of not most but I eat some which I prefer to than eating this kilishi. Guys I'm trying to pack right now. I want to pack because i be waking up very early in the morning. So at the moment I'm just trying to um like edit some of the footages for this vlog because tomorrow morning i'll be starting a new vlog and i want to wake up early by 7 30 that's the time i want to wake up and i'll be showing you some of the things that i'm packing so you can see so i'll be taking this camera here with me i think i'll be taking my light um I got a light from uh, Ulanzi. It's just a real light that I, I can carry anywhere I want. Yeah, that's all. I'm so glad I got this camera because oh, it's so nice. You can see the quality. You see how the skin looks like. It's so cute. And also, the reason why I got a camera was because sometimes when I vlog using my phone, trying to, like, export it to the laptop it takes too long because my phone guys this is literally stressing me i was trying to export something from my phone to the laptop but it starts exporting and again it stops completely it reads i don't know if you can see it after are you guys down
like it reads here I go to the app because this is the video that I'm editing so like importing it from here it's giving me stress I don't know what to do Like guys I've tried to like edit it from my phone but I don't know why it's still okay you can see it's here there it's trying to read it like export it load it or whatever it does but when it gets to the to the app where I need to like edit it it stops just because it's from the phone I don't know why okay yeah so it says so here preparing that zero <sighs> if it doesn't I'm going to leave it like I'm going to leave it and just do something else I don't know if you can hear me I want to like start packing first of all because I don't want to be late tomorrow because my train leaves here at 10 10 yeah because I don't want to leave so early at the same time I don't want to leave so late because I have so many things to do then by 5 30 I have to go to dinner in that place too yeah <laughs> I don't want to spoil the I'll say the name of the place where I'm going I just want you guys to see in the next vlog that will come anyway I'm going to take my bag This is the bag I'm going with. It's the bag that I went with in uh, in my vlog when I went to um, Stroud and Silent Chester. So there's nothing in here. And so I'm going to take this tripod because I'll be using this small tripod to vlog. I'll be using the longer one too because I'll be taking photos. Since now that I have a nice camera, I'll be taking photos if I want to with the camera. Or sometimes if I want to with the, with the phone. So this is the tripod that I'm carrying. Just going to put it in the bag right now so that you won't be... A household for me tomorrow morning then I'm going with this this is like a Bluetooth this is like a Bluetooth for for the tripod that is standing if I want to take photos then this one is the Bluetooth for the also the tripod that I was I'm taking the other small one I'm just going to keep it here Next thing, I'm packing my earphones or my headphones. It's from uh, Lenovo. Don't know why it's not targeting. Focus. Yeah, there, there it is. Yeah, I'm taking this. I just need to like ensure i have everything then i'll take this this is for the tripod that i'm using at the moment so whenever i want to like the good thing about this one if i want my camera to look if i'm using my phone i can put it here so i need to take that then also guys i have to sit down and like 
plan the places I'm going to because I want to visit it's a big city and I'm just going for one day so I have to make sure that I visit most of the uh, how do I call it like the known places so that I won't be like oh I missed this place let me go back there no I don't want to be like that as my laptop is doing that so I will just use my phone and just like browse but I know like three places that I'm I'm sure I'm going to go I'm trying to call my friend and ask now Hello, Mambo. Nikulize venya mulienda kwa Roman bath. Muli lipa kitu ya yote kuingia. Mm, I don't know if you've heard or not, but yeah, that's where I'm going to. Spoiler alert, I've already told you where I'm going to. I will see photos on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, Kaki underscore Liz, you will see the photos even before the vlog for Bath comes out. That's what I'm sure of. Cause ah. <laughs> anyway, so um, I've kind of uh, packed most of the things, and I'm going to go with this tripod that I'm using. I'm going to pack it later. So tomorrow morning, I'm just waking up to shower, breakfast, then do my makeup, which I'm not going to vlog.